We're super excited to be back working. Um, that's probably the biggest piece, I think, that you don't realize how much you miss something until you actually don't get to do it. So um, seeing the, the happiness on the guys' faces, even though it's you know 90 plus degrees outside and super humid, it's, it's great to get back to work. Um, you know, on the whole, I think we've done a pretty good job picking up where we left off last spring. Um, you know, welcoming in the new, new first year students was a little bit challenging. You know, those guys haven't played football really in two years. and. Um, you know, getting those guys up to speed was a little bit slower than it normally is. Um, you know, they had to work through the obvious homesickness kind of stuff, but they've done a great job. And the older guys on a whole have, have really had a good, really good solid two weeks. Yeah, there's been, there's been some gaps. You know, the, some of the newer guys have been, um, you know, I think obviously and rightfully so, have been a little bit slow to kind of, you know, get back up to speed. And we were all really, really a little bit slow getting back up to speed. Um, you know, some little nuance type things that, that we've had to clean up. Um, it isn't just players, it's coaches too. You know, you find yourself going through checklists multiple times because it has been a while since you've done it for real. And so I think across the board, um, you know, looking at, at, the, at the meshing of everything, I, I think we've been pretty efficient. I, I don't think we've missed anything major from the perspective of, you know, little things that we've forgotten, you know, just because we haven't done it in two years. So it's been, you know, there's been some transition. You know, I even think for, for me personally, there were some challenges. You, know, you kind of get out of preseason shape, so to speak. You know, when you're when you're you know working 16, 17 hours a day, you know, you fall asleep a little bit faster when you haven't had a haven't had a you know a camp in a couple of years. But again, it's been super productive, and, and we're excited about where we are. Yeah, offensively, we've got some we've got some new guys that we're going to have to work in. I mean, we we graduated. Um, the bulk of a really, really good offensive line, you know, following the 19 season, um, there were four seniors there that played a really, really big role in the successes that we had. So, um, you know, kind of filling in um, those spots has been a challenge, and some of those position battles are still, still going on as we speak. So, um, you know, as we approach, you know, midweek, we'll start making some decisions. Um, you know, so that, that certainly is a challenge. You know, Receiver-wise, again, we lost a great group of guys. So, um, getting that timing, getting that uh, that experience playing together with Sag, and um, you know, getting those guys up to speed again. You know, it's, there's battles still going on today. So, um, we're excited. We've got some competition at those positions. Uh, defensively, you know, same thing. You know, it, it's interesting because you have groups of guys that have matured without using eligibility, so to speak. So. You know, they've changed their bodies physically over the last 18 months, which has made them better football players, and they're, they're challenging some of the returners. So um, I think anytime you could be in a competitive situation in practice, I think you're going to, you know, it, it will pay you dividends on Saturday. So, you know, we're really, really excited. Uh, we're, we're excited about week one. Um, I, you know, I think, you know, if you look at the schedule, everybody kind of looks at the first three weeks. You know, for me and, and the staff and I think our, our players, it's been – you know, a singular focus to get to week one. And that's really our focus. And um, we'll deal with RPI in two weeks and we'll deal with Del Val, you know, three weeks from now. So, um, you know, the reality of it for us is we've got to be focused on the job at hand and, you know, work on being the best football team that we can be on September the 4th. Uh, you know, again, we're super excited. That's the biggest thing, you know, getting out there, um, not in April, uh, getting out there in September is going to be a lot of fun. I, you know, the fall, I think, is one of my favorite seasons. Obviously, you know, th there's a football component of it, but I love the weather of the fall. And, you know, I, I love being out of practice. And I think the guys are excited. And, you know, again, I think just seeing the, the happiness on, on, on players' faces and coaches' faces, for that matter, and, and parents and having an opportunity to go out and compete um, and do, you know, do, do some of the things that we love the most to do, I just I, I can't be more excited about the opportunity.